Hey guys, so today I am going to be doing not the most typical of videos. It's a haul, but I've already opened all of my products because I got them all over the summer and they're products that I've built up over the summer. So I'm just going to show you guys what I've got. I'm going to do some swatches and yeah, I'm just going to give you my general opinion and review everything. So the first thing I got is a brand new makeup case. Got it at Walmart for $20 and it's by the brand Modella. It doesn't look like it's very great, but when you open it up, it's like amazing. So up here there's a place to keep your brushes. I'm keeping my nail polish in this little mesh zipper pouch. The inside has so many pockets for organizing things and dividers. It holds all of my makeup and it's great. So I guess I'll just start with all of my lip products. I've been buying these matte LA Girl vel flat velvet lipsticks. They're really nice. They go on smooth. I love all of the colors. Some of them are really bright, some of them are lighter. Um, this one is supposed to be this shade of pink. but actually is a much brighter shade of pink. That was kind of disappointing, but it's still pretty. It has some strange liquid sweat on it, that's kind of gross. Only opened it once, I'm not sure why it's sweating so much, but yeah. It's really pigmented, it's really pretty, it's nice and creamy, I really like it. Um, I have this lipstick in a couple of different shades, and I like every single one of them. So one of the other shades I have is this light purple. It's really, really pretty. Also sweating, so that's kind of weird. I'm not sure what type of formula this is that keeps getting all wet and sweaty. Not the biggest fan of that, that's gross. Watch that on my wrist for you. Also super pigmented. I love this one. Um, purple lipstick isn't really something I saw myself doing all that much, but I love it. It's so pigmented. It's so pretty. And honestly, surprisingly doesn't look that strange. And then I have a darker purple because again, I just really like purple. So basically where the sweat's building up is this like tip right here. I'm not sure why, but it's happening and um, I'll deal with it. It's a really nice shade of purple. It's much darker than the other one though. I love the dark purple. It's going to be a really great fall color with like a really classic smoky eye, and I'm so excited to wear it. It's definitely going to be making its way into some tutorials. One other color I have is this sort of bright watermelon color. Honestly, it's not a liquid lipstick, but it's kind of a dupe for the Jeffree Star watermelon one. Um, this one, thankfully, is not sweaty. It doesn't look that great, but the color of this is gorgeous. I'm not going to do any lip swatches in this video because these are just take too long to take off. So that's it for the uh, flat velvet lipsticks that I have. They're really smooth and creamy. This is all of the swatches all together. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the liquid lipsticks I've collected over the summer. This one's Forever 21 brand in aubergine, which is eggplant. Again, super excited, super hate the formula. This feels like it is burning my lips off. I don't know if I'm allergic to it or something. I don't think I am. I've read the ingredients. They're basically the same ingredients in other things, but it just doesn't feel good. It makes my lips so painfully dry. 
It's another really dark purple. On the camera right now, it looks almost black. It's such a pretty color. It's really bad formula. I'm hoping I can do something to make it so I can wear it, but I don't know. So I got a bunch more LA Girl liquid lipsticks. So these are the flat finish pigment glosses. This one is in the color Dreamy. It's a really nice pale pink toned nude. It's one of my favorite ones that I got. It's super pretty. It dries really nice and matte. It's decently good at staying on, like, I can drink my Starbucks and it's still there after, so it's a good sign. So another really similar color, it's the next shade up, is Fleur. It's a slightly more orange toned nude. I like this one also. These swatches are going to be pretty bad to get off. It dries really pretty. I like the color. I definitely recommend it because that's only a dollar. And it's a really good product. I like how it stays on. I like how it looks. I don't really have any complaints about it. Okay. So, an LA Colors Pout Lip Gloss in Matte that I got. This is in the color Canoodle. Pretty entertaining name. It's a uh, purple shade. This one, I don't have any complaints about the formula. It's sort of an orchid color. It's really pretty for fall. I'm so excited to wear it. I like how it dries. It doesn't dry tacky. It's really, really good. I have no complaints at all about it. Another LA Colors pout lip gloss in matte that I have is in the color Delectable. It's a nice little, slight little more pink than it is nude. Here it looks really pink. When it dry is this kind of looks like an electric watermelon color right now, but when it's actually on your lips, it's just kind of a brighter nude. And I really am enjoying these like nude liquid matte lipsticks because. It just adds a little touch of color without adding too much. Okay, so now we're moving on to eye products. There's a lot of these. So, my favorite of all the eye products that I got are these LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencils. I have five different ones. I have a bronze, a blue, a purple, a green, a silver. I love all of them. So I'm gonna just go in order, swatch them. They're really metallic, really high color. You can use them as an eyeliner or as an eyeshadow. I personally like to use the lighter ones as the inner corner for smoky eye and they come out amazingly. So first one I'm gonna be swatching for you is the bronze. It's called the Bronze Shimmer. It's super pigmented. Super shimmery, super pretty. This is one of my favorites for Smoky Eye. So, the next color I'm going to be swatching for you is this sort of metallic light green. This is called Summertime. I really like this. It's really nice, light, shimmery green. I actually bought it specifically for a tutorial I'm planning on doing in the future. Next one I'm going to be showing you guys is the purple one. In this lighting it looks kind of blue, but I promise you this one is purple. This is a really pretty color. Um, 
for some reason, it comes out a lot darker than it looks in the pencil. I'm not complaining, I still like it, it's just not the color I thought it was. Moving on to silver. This one is called Sweet Wishes. The purple one I showed you, forgot to tell you the name of, is called Tropical Bliss. This is the silver. It's really shiny, really metallic, really pretty. Goes really well for a smoky eye. Also have this nice dark blue. Also for the Harry Potter one. So again, any idea of what the tutorial is going to be for? Comment down below. This dark blue one is called Waves. It's a really nice dark, almost navy blue. I really like the color of it. It's nice and shimmery and pretty. And all of these are so pigmented and amazing. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the eyeliner that I have. Couldn't find the other two. So I got these at the dollar store. They're Wet n Wild color icon in the colors turquoise, bronze, violet, and white. They came as a set, so the violet and white came together and the turquoise and bronze came together. I would love to use these on the inner corner of my eye as just a little pop of color in my eyeliner. So I'm just going to swatch them together. Turquoise and bronze. They're really pretty, they're really pigmented. Really nicely colored. Turquoise is my favorite. I actually haven't tried the purple and the white yet, so we'll see how this goes. They're actually really nice. So, the last few groups of products I have to show you are four different matte eyeshadow palettes, and I got an e.l.f. contour palette. Now, I love e.l.f. I've never, uh, been able to use a contour palette before. I've never been able to afford a contour palette before. It is a four color palette. There's two highlighting colors and two contour colors. Um, I haven't tested it yet. We'll see. I'm probably going to do a I try contouring for the first time video at some point because that'll be hilarious. So one thing I really love about this palette is it comes with this really cool mirror. I like this mirror a lot. It's super handy. It's probably better than any other mirror that I have. So I'm just going to do some finger swatches of each of these. I'm going to start with this highlighting color. Okay. creamy, but I'm having a hard time getting it to build up a lot. I mean, I get it's supposed to be subtle, but I'm super pale on this part of my arm, so you can barely see that shimmer. I do like it though, it'll be useful probably on my face where my skin's a little darker. So now I'm going to be doing this sort of apricot color. It's a sort of nice light color. I do like that it's a little bit pigmented, but not too pigmented. Since I'm not like super dark or anything, it's, I can use the lighter one in the winter and the darker one in the summer. Okay, I'm going to be doing the lighter of the bronze. This one kind of just blends with my skin tone. Like, it took a lot to build up even that tiniest little spot of swatch. It's basically the color of my skin right now, so I'll probably have to stick more with the darker. Okay. Yeah. 
So maybe if I mix the two of them together, because that one looks a little bit too dark. Since I am still not like super tan or anything like that. Um, I do like them. They're a really smooth sort of creamy powder, which I wasn't expecting, and so that was pleasant. Um, if you'll excuse me, I just have to apply to my mother for a second. Sorry about that. Okay. So, just wanted to like rub those all together because I don't really feel like going into my micellar water to remove it right now. That's another thing I started using this summer, um, is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water, and oh my god, it is amazing. My skin has never been so clear and so clean. Um, it's amazing. I love it. Like, I don't know what else to say about it. Like, I love it. So, aside from that little rant, moving on to my four eyeshadow palettes. I got this one in blues and greens. It is called Teal Argyle. So, I haven't actually used any of these other than to swatch it a little bit. These are the colors. It says matte braid on it. That's kind of amusing. It's pretty pigmented. Like, it's pretty good. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about it. I'm just going to swatch it. I kind of bought it for this really pretty mint green because I don't have any eyeshadow in that color and it's just really pretty and I like it. But the forest green one at the end, that would make such an interesting colorful smoky eye and I really can't wait to do something with it. I'm just not sure what I'm going to end up doing. So I then got another one in a much more neutral tone, it's all shades of brown, it's called Tan Cocky. Again, it starts off with a lighter peach. This one then moves on to actual peach. Watched it right here, sort of a light tan close to the color of my skin. There's a nice, rich, chocolatey brown. And then there's a really nice dark brown. I also got one in purples because I love purple eyeshadow and because of that gorgeous matte black at the end. This one is called Purple Cashmere. They're all sort of named after clothing or sweaters, I guess. I'm not entirely sure. But it starts with this really light pink and then goes through purples up to a really nice matte black. The light pink again just kind of looks like white. The texture of these is so nice for a matte eyeshadow, especially for such a cheap one. Like, let me see if I can build this one up a little more so you can see the color a little better. It's a nice light purple. But it's a lot, it, like, I guess I'd say it's kind of a lilac color, but like, it's smooth, it's kind of creamy, kind of powdery, but not like too bad to the point where it's uncomfortable or gross or anything. So now I'm going to be doing the sort of lavender purple. It's really pretty, but out of all of the purples, I have to say, this dark purple is one of my favorites because purple smoky eyes with silver is like my favorite thing to do and this purple works so well for that. But that matte black though, Look how freaking pigmented that is. Like, this eyeshadow palette was 98 cents. Like, these LA Colors matte eyeshadow palettes are amazing. And so cheap, and so affordable. Like, go out and get one. If you don't really know what you're doing when it comes to makeup, go out and get one. So then, of course, 
typical classic smoky eye. Silvers and blacks and grays. It's called black lace. I like all of these colors. These are all really useful for cosplay purposes. And smoky eyes. I'm just gonna swatch all of them at the same time and then show you guys. And just blending them to make a sort of gradient. I just, I love all of these colors. Like, you can't really do that with the purples because of the black, it just kind of all smudges together. You can't really do it with the green because the darker green overpowers it, but those ones you could do such an interesting smoky ombre silver eye that, like, there's so many possibilities. And just all of these palettes are amazing. Um, okay, this video is going on forever. I'm just gonna end it here, but keep your eye out for all the Harry Potter stuff I'm planning. Um, a couple different Halloween looks, including a potential Suicide Squad Harley Quinn one. As you guys can see, I decorated my other wall. Give you a kind of closer look at that. That is a scrap of cat fabric that I found at Walmart today. It's pretty nice, it was 97 cents, and makes a nice little wall decoration because I love cats. So I'm just gonna end this video now, so bye everyone! and. If you like this video and you want to see more hauls because I'm a makeup addict and I'm going to be buying more stuff, comment down below to let me know. And if you're looking forward to my Harry Potter tutorials, then click like and subscribe so you can see them.